Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. And today we're going to make card number four for Bunny Week. We're going to be using the Simply Charmed cartridge. And there are two just simply adorable bunnies in here. There's one little bunny who looks like he's just hopping up and down. And then there's the one up here with the carrot. And we're going to be doing the bunny with the carrot. I think it's just so, so cute. So I took some light pink cardstock to cut this background piece. And I cut all the pieces for the bunny at three and a half. So I cut that out of light pink. I cut the carrot on layer one out of green at three and a half. And this part of the carrot out of orange at three and a half. And that's on layer two. Then I came over here and what you'll notice about this is all the parts to this bunny because you have to hit shift will be on the shift layer. So I came down here and I used some darker pink to cut the inside of the ears and the little uh, parts of the feet. It also cuts the little cheeks out and a background for the face. I'm not going to use that little face. But I did go ahead and cut the other parts out of the darker pink. But then I took some kind of flesh color. I don't really know what you call it. It's like an ivory or a beige. And I went back and cut this again so that I could use a peachy keen stamp on there. And I think this just looks so much cuter. When you cut these little faces out, it just cuts little tiny holes and a little tiny mouth. And it's just not as cute. And I really like the peachy keen face better. And this time I used the basic paper doll face assortment. And once again, I used the one inch size. And I used this one right down here. And this could be a boy or a girl because it does have little eyelashes. But I just think it's a sweet little face. So I did go ahead and stamp that. I haven't picked out any paper yet. <laughs> I just I had to go ahead and do the bunny because I thought it was so cute. So I'm going to go find some cardstock for the card. Haven't even decided what style of card I'm doing. So this is kind of a definitely a work in progress. So I guess I better get busy and go get some cardstock and some pattern paper and get my ATG gun so we can get started on card number four for bunny week. Now before I adhere the little face onto the base of the bunny. I'm going to take some chalk and just lightly color in the little cheeks. I just love peachy keen stamps. They just make your images really come to life. Whoops. This doesn't take long at all to do this. I think I'm going to put just a little bit on the nose, too. Because it is a little bunny. And then I'll take this and go back and soften it a little. Yeah, I like that on the nose. Also, I have some light pink ink. And I'm just going to go around the edges to help this little face stand out from the base of the bunny. Now if you look at the little background for the bunny, it's got little dashed lines where you're supposed to line up the face. And I'm going to use my tweezers to hold the face and my two-way glue pen. Oh, somebody asked what kind of tweezers these were. These are tweezer beads. And I really like them. I've had them for a long time. In fact, I have two pair because I kept losing them so I bought an extra pair and now I, I'm still losing them <laughs> so these have a chain on them so that helps me find them now I'm going to line up the face with the little dashed lines and that's going to make his little face kind of at an angle that is so cute I love that there we go now, before I put the carrot together, I'm going to take some creamy brown chalk ink 
and just lightly go around this. Just give it a little definition. And I'm going to do the green as well. Okay, I've adhered the carrot down. And now I have the little foot that's going to go right here. Here's the two little hands or paws. One will go here and one here, and you can see the dashed lines. And then these are the little uh, heels for the bunny's foot. One goes there and one goes there. And then here's the little bunny toes, and here's his ears right here. This is definitely going to require tweezers because these are small pieces. But this is the cutest bunny ever. I just can't believe I haven't used this bunny before. He's so stinking cute. We'll go ahead and put the inside to his ears. I'm going to go ahead and put this little foot on. Right here, line it up. And it lines up with the back of the bunny too. And we'll put the little paws on. I think this one goes here. And this one goes up here. Now we're going to put the little pieces on the bunny's foot. His little heel and his little bunny toes. Look at this little bunny, guys. Is he not the cutest thing ever? I just love this bunny. I think he's one of my favorites. Now, let's get together everything we need to make a card to put him on. Here's card number four for Bunny Week, guys. I used some orange and white gingham, and this is from last year's Spring Stack from Die Cuts with a View. And this card is four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a green mat, and this is kind of a check. This is uh, some paper from my friend Judy. It's actually Heidi Grace. Thanks, Judy. This turned out really cute on this card. Over here, I have a white border, which I cut at an inch and a half by five and a quarter. And then I used my threading water punch to punch the little lacy border. And I added a gingham border, which is three quarters by five and a quarter on top of that. And then some pink grow grain ribbon wrapped around that. And of course, three orange buttons. I've got my bunny popped up on some pop dots. I wanted to put it on an action wobble. You know, my friend Darnell sent me some, but you have to center it on your image, and he was just too thin right through there to get it to work right. But I am going to be putting an action wobble on one of the bunny cards coming up soon. For my sentiment, it's Eat Your Carrots, and I printed this on the computer. The font is Menu Nouvelle at 14 points. And I notched it and made a little banner using a square punch for the ends. I think it turned out really cute. I love this bunny. It's one of my favorites. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys, and checking out card number four. And I'll see you tomorrow with card number five for Bunny Week. Thanks, guys. Bye now.